Just before we enter the bleak, bleak, bleakness of the bleak, clavenless weekend, I do want to say that uh, today's my birthday. Oh, and happy birthday. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate it. I'm 115 years old. I look great. And I just want to say... Well, that's just face. <laughs> that's right. That's right. When this, this, after this, Jess get, gives me a you know wipe and I take it off and I am Pat Robertson. <laughs> <laughs> but I just want to say what a pleasure I'm... What a great time I'm having. I am really having one of the times of my life. I've had a couple of really great periods of my life. This is one of them. I love being at the Daily Wire. I love, the, except for the, the people in this room accepted who are really, I mean, look at them. Uh, but, I mean, Shapiro and Jeremy Boring, all these people, they they are, if, if you love them, you're right. They are some of the great people. It's just been bliss. You know, I, I have to say this. Uh, we, we do talk about Christianity here a lot, and I, I talk about my faith, and a lot of, I, maybe because I came to faith so late in life, I see it differently than a lot of people do. A lot of people look at the Gospels and look at Christianity as a, some kind of rule book for doing the right thing. You know, you're going to do this and then you'll be a good person and then you'll get a reward. And I don't see it like that at all, to be honest with you. I see it as a handbook for bliss. I see it as a handbook for being as happy as you can possibly be. I really do. I, I mean that. I mean, I, I read the Gospels every day. I read them in Greek, he bragged. But I, and I, you know, so I, I really study them. And I, what I see is a guidebook on how to be happy, how to be happy in life. And there used to be, there still is, he's, he's, gone, he's gone, but his books remain. I, I was very into Joseph Campbell when I was a kid and uh, I would read his books. He was a, a great student of mythology. He wrote a wonderful book that you, if, that you would really enjoy called Hero with a Thousand Faces about how many, many myths are really the same myth, the mono myth, as James Joyce called it. And, uh, and Joseph Campbell became very famous right toward the end of his life. Nobody knew who he was. In fact, I was writing articles about him and trying to sell them. And I remember writing for one newspaper and they said, we don't know who this is. We don't want an article about Joseph Campbell. And then he died. And after he died, he suddenly became very famous because of these interviews with Bill Moyer on PBS. And they called me up and they said, you still have that article. You know, I sold them this, this big article about him. And uh, he was a conservative. They hate to remember this because he's now the airy fairy kind of uh, left loves him. Uh, but he was he was actually conservative. And he, in this final interview that he gave, he said, "Follow your bliss." That is his advice at the end of his life. Follow your bliss. And. I would amend that a little bit. He was, he was criticized for being selfish, that that's a selfish thing to do. I would amend that just a little bit. I would just say that all bliss uh, comes from love. And the more, the more valuable the thing you love, the more bliss you get out of it. And one of the things that I look back, because when you get to my age, the bill comes due. The bill for the way you behave comes due. If you have three wives and your kids hate you, this is when it comes due, you know. And I really feel fortunate at where I am in life. And it is because the one thing I did, even when I was crazy, even when I was really messed up, is I followed love. I followed, I married the woman I love, I had children I, and I loved them, and I do the work that I love every day. And I, you know, it's cost me some dough to do the work that I love, but I do the work I love and you get bliss from it. And like I said, the more valuable something is, the more bliss you get out of it. So I love uh, cryptic puzzles and I love the NFL and I get a little bliss out of that. I love a lot of people. There are a lot of people in my life who I love. I get a lot of bliss out of that. You love God, you get all the bliss in the world. It really is a good time. It's a good time. And if 